Hey, what's up? <laughs> I'm already making you laugh. We haven't even started the interview. That's a I good know. sign. What's up, everybody? I'm Ayla Brown with Country 1025, and I'm here with Chris Young. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. Absolutely. Thank we you, We love you, and I just want to say we had some semi-backstage T-shirts out there, and I personally went out with Helena, a member of our team, and we got to give away some backstage meet-and-greet passes, and people are so fired up to, to hang out with you and awesome. meet you and hug you and say hi. What does that mean to meet the fans? every show uh it, it's awesome and honestly just coming straight off of cma fest where i met we did two different 500 person <laughs> individual meet and greets oh my god and it's worth it um you just, still have a voice yeah barely uh <laughs> last week i barely had a voice this week i'm fine uh, Good. but it, it was one of those things where it's so cool to actually look at somebody and tell them thank you for listening to your music and supporting your music and uh, there's there's just really nothing like that. I mean, that's the reason that we get a chance to do all of this stuff. Right. And you've had such a long journey. Um, I'm actually an artist myself, and I opened up for you in Pennsylvania, and now you're headlining Xfinity Center. What does that mean to do the theater shows to now being out to a place like this, looking out to all of those thousands and thousands of people? I mean, back in way before the theater shows, I remember being in a van, no trailer. We yeah. had all the gear like loaded up on top of us driving around and Do you um, miss those days? No. You don't <laughs> <laughs> I <laughs> No, I don't. I don't mind you know what the thing Some is that I miss do. that's this fun sometimes is actually going back into like a small club and playing something and we yeah. get a chance to do that like very, very rarely and it's a lot of fun. But well, I was gonna say you've done like Whiskey Jam in Nashville, you've done Losers, I'm assuming, because I used to live there for nine years. I've seen you out at I've Tin actually Roof never a bunch. played at Losers. You haven't. I have not. Okay. I have not. I've played Whiskey Jam because I know uh Ward Gunther who Yeah. It's one of the guys that, that started it and uh they've gotten me up there before, so it's it, being able to do that in Nashville is a little bit different too than doing of it course. out on the road, some city you've never been to before. And so it's fun. are there any times that you still get nervous go going out there, or do you get nervous? I only ever get nervous when I have to do something that involves someone else's music, totally. and it, and they're there. So like that, we did a thing okay. one year where Alan Jackson was being honored for the ASCAP Awards, You're and like, they're like, "Do you want to <laughs> sing an Alan Jackson song?" And I'm like, "In front of Alan Jackson?" Yeah, what's they're that like? like? Yeah, I, well, it's terrifying. But I mean, because this of what? Is fun. Because you're scared that you can't do it justice, or that you're going to mess up the words, or See, what is that's it? That's the thing. I'm never worried. I'm going to mess up my own words. It's always somebody someone else's. else's. So like yeah. those moments, you're just kind of like, because you didn't write it, and you want them to like it too. Of you course. Know? I grew up listening to Alan Jackson. The last thing I wanted to get out there is him be like, eh. Right. Can you imagine <laughs> if like he didn't clap? But you're so he good. He just kind of stared at you. You know exactly what you're doing. Everyone right now is talking about your Opry performance just recently. Yeah, that have, song dropped today, Drowning. Um, yeah, I mean, have you ever had a moment besides that where you've been mid-song and you're like, I, I can't do it anymore? Or was this nope. the first time? Nope, it was the first time. And, I, and it hasn't happened since on that song. I mean, that song is very important, but you have okay. to understand the guy that I wrote that about when I was on Nashville Star, when I was first getting started, they sequestered us in that hotel. So I lived 30 minutes down the road, mm -hmm. and they would not let me leave to go wash clothes. Yeah. So the only yeah. way to get out of the hotel is he would come by and park his truck, and we would sit in the truck and listen to songs and just goof off and tell stories. And um, so knowing that I was right there next to that parking lot while I was singing that song on the Opry for the first time. Totally. It was, just a, it was a moment. It was a moment. So no other time since then? No. Well, we are so excited to hear you tonight, and I can't wait to see. <laughs> are like, you trying to set me, me up to do it again? No, She's no, like, no, I would other never time do that. No? I would never. But I will say, being able, to, as an artist and songwriter myself, being able to open up for you and now get to talk to you on a totally different level, I'm just really honored to be able to sit next to you. And thank you so much for loving country music, singing it, and being so great to the listeners at our station. Absolutely. Thank you guys for being great to me, and um, thanks everybody that's already been sending messages about drowning today. It came out this morning, and people. People have been just blowing my phone up. Incredible. So. We can't wait to, to play it. Thanks, Chris Young. Sure.